Today I want to tell you about the top 10 features that I love about ConvertBox. This could have been a top 15 or top 17 video. I decided to stick to top 10. So at number 10, the fact that it replaced several tools. I'm saving myself over $100 a month by using ConvertBox because I no longer need lead pages and I no longer need Sumo. At number nine, ongoing development. Dean and his team are extremely busy in the Facebook group. You can send an email with feature requests and they take your requests on board and build them into the roadmap. So for example, coming soon, split testing, more personalized messages, very strong stuff. At number eight, the ability to generate sales. Imagine if you have a website about vegans and there's a brilliant article published somewhere and you want to share it, but at the same time you want to actually make a sale. Well, you can use ConvertBox for this. Let's go and have a look. Right, so this is an article about vegans living longer than those who eat meat, eggs, uh, that research has found. Look what happens. Limited edition kale t-shirt. Get this limited edition t-shirt for just $9.99. That article is on The Independent. Grab yourself a t-shirt now. That can link to a sales page or it can link straight to a shopping cart. For example, I use this with Thrivecart to, do, to offer uh, certain visitors to my site depending on where they've come from, different types of offers, okay? It makes sales and any tool that makes money is a bonus for me. At number seven, multiple integrations. If you've got a tool or email service provider, then it's pretty sure that you can integrate it into ConvertBox. Here is a list of the current ones. GetResponse, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, Aweber, Infusionsoft, ConvertKit, Entreport, Drip, ConvertFox, MailerLite, Webhooks, and custom HTML forms. If your email service provider isn't there, you can use the custom HTML form. There are more integrations coming all the time. At number six, content upgrades. Content upgrades are important because content upgrades will give you a higher uh, conversion rate on subscribers. You'll get more subscribers if you use content upgrades. Here's an example of one that I'm using. My report is called Techniques Not Tools. Click on that and up comes the opt-in form to get for people to get the report and get on my list. You can use this when you've got, let's say I've got an article about blogging, I will have a separate one for blogging. It's because ConvertBox is so simple and quick to use, you can have multiple lead magnets on your relevant pages. Number five, the ability to set display rules. I find this very, very important. So you can set who sees your convert boxes. You can set the pages that they're on, or you can exclude pages. So you could go to all pages if you wanted. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Get nice and specific. Being specific will get you more subscribers. Okay, you can set the duration, how often people see these, how many times a day, how many times in total. You can set when they see them, immediately after a specific time, uh, on page scroll percentage, if they try and leave your page, that's an exit pop-up, or if a visitor clicks a link. My exit pop-up, I'm using one of my sites, it's converting at over 3%. That's 3% of people who are leaving the site without having done anything are seeing an exit pop-up and coming on my list. 3% more subscribers over the course of a year makes a big difference to your bottom line. You can also show it on the link that you're sharing. That's what you saw me do with the independent article about veganism and the, uh, the sales form for the kale t-shirt. Really simple. Number four, the ability to have an agency license. If you have customers or you want customers in the future, you can charge them to set ConvertBox up and use your agency license it will cover its own cost very quickly. Number three, powerful targeting options. I love this feature. This feature allows you to have the right message to the right user at the right time. You can target things like the number of visits. So on, when people are there for the third time, you can show them a different box than they're there for the first and second time. If they visit certain pages, so I've got three pages on blogging, they visited two. On the third page, I can show them a blogging report. You can target your autoresponder. So if someone's already on your autoresponder and they have various tags or on them various lists, you can show them a different opt-in form or convert box to somebody else. You can target on UTM keyword. If you have a link and you're using UTMs and the keyword says blogging, you'll show them a blogging 
opt-in. If it says lead gen, you'll show them a lead gen opt-in. You can show a different opt-in form to someone from the United States to someone from the United Kingdom, okay? You based on location. You can use referring URLs, okay? Someone comes from Facebook, show them a different opt-in to somebody who comes from Google. Someone comes on mobile, showing something different to some, somebody who comes from desktop. If they've seen previous convert boxes, so if they've seen your blogging convert box, well, next time show them a lead gen convert box if they haven't yet opted in. Goals achieved, you can set goals for your convert box. If those goals are achieved, you can show something else. And there's more. Percentage scroll, scroll time on page, exit pop-ups. We've seen all those before. Those are powerful stuff. There are also more that I haven't thought of. Number two, fast implementation. I did a video where I tried to build a opt-in box from start to finish and deploy it on my page as fast as possible. It was two minutes, 27 seconds. And that was with me commentating while I was doing it. I'm sure I can, I could do it in under two minutes. It is so simple to build your convert boxes. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna build a new convert box, just a very rough draft, and it will take me, I don't know, a few seconds probably. So we're using, gonna give it a name. I don't think I've got demo 29 yet. I'm gonna select a campaign, and we're gonna use a center modal. Let me go next. And we're going to turn on profile, headline, image. Uh, no, let's, let's forget the buttons. Let's make it an opt-in form. And let's add a countdown. And that is pretty much it. If you want to upload an image, you can get your image. Uh, let's be Kel one. So that's done. And we're going to edit. Shirt. <laughs> that nearly came out wrong. Uh, buy this shirt, and there you go. Email address. Well, we actually, want to, on that one, we want to use buttons. So let's go back to layout. Got that wrong. We're going to do buttons rather than opt-in form. Done. You want to do that? Let me just go one hour, 32 minutes. That's done. And what's going to happen when it finishes? We're going to redirect to another URL and add a new URL there. That's how quick it is to build. Right, and now... My number one reason for loving ConvertBox, and this is what sold it to me from the first time I saw it could do this. Pre-list segmentation. I don't know what your, your conversion rate is. I'm happy to tell you that some of my recent, recent campaigns have converted at 40 and 50% conversion rate. And that is because I segment my list. Segmentation is really, really powerful. Okay, so let's go and have a look at how powerful and how you can do this. So on this shirt, okay, add your button, go plus, plus, okay. And all we're gonna do is, um, I'm a vegan. I am vegan curious. I am a meat eater. Okay, obviously you'd have, oh, I really can't spell. Yeah, let me do the right. Right, I'm a meat eater. There we've got three choices. This opt-in comes up, okay. I'm a vegan, what we're gonna do? Well, we're going to open second step. Edit step two, okay, and we're going to use a, an opt-in form and a headline and an image, okay. I'm just gonna leave it at that for the time being. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this and we're gonna add it to our autoresponder. We're gonna select our provider. This now gives us a series of options. So we can add all these subscribers in the same list, but we can tag them, okay. We can add an existing tag. So rather than your subscribers all getting the same emails, you can provide highly targeted emails. You can address the point they're at in their journey. You can address their pain points that you can address what they need. As I said, it can be on the same list or it can be three different lists. Just add tags or add them to a list. You can see here, you can add to a list, remove from a list, add to an automation, remove from an automation, add existing 
tag, remove existing tag, add to new tag. The possibilities are endless. What you're doing here now is rather than using the broad brush approach that every other market is using, you are providing the precise information that your subscribers want. I cannot tell you how important this is. If it was just this feature, it would be worth buying ConvertBox. Thanks for listening to this. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please add them below. You will also find a link for ConvertBox. I highly recommend it. Thanks for listening. Bye.